All right, all right, all right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome everybody to a new video about Path of Exile mapping yet again. I'm gonna try a boss rushing strat because this character, this, this, this new tornado shot build actually excels at going fast. So I'm gonna try going fast and killing map bosses only, basically. I'm gonna kill maybe some essences on the way, but I built this tree, it's pretty cookie cutter. I, um... ooh, ooh. And it has every single map duplication node on the tree. Quant, quant rarity in the middle, some essence nodes, red altars, and final boss flat rewards, such as scarabs and map currency item. I think it only has one scarab actually. And then shaping the mountains and uh, some Einhorn missions for possible future memes. And then it has unrelenting torment, which is tormented spirits. 10% chance for the boss to be surrounded by tormented spirits. I think we're gonna spend more time on loading screens than in the maps, but I don't know, could be fun. I wanted to try destructive play because the extra bosses can also drop the final boss stuff. That's like this, this, uh, this, like the Conqueror maps, Elder maps, Synth maps, Maven stuff. However, when you fight the boss, if you go fast and you kill the boss, Maven doesn't spawn the extra bosses. So you have to like stop and delay your boss kill by five to 10 seconds. I'm just gonna do red altars with 10% chance for double progress. So uh, we'll get some red invitations. I think the red invitation is more expensive than the blue one, right? Because more people are running blue. As always, separate the loot. It's probably just gonna be a bunch of maps. Hopefully a lot of Conqueror maps, maybe some synth maps, some scarabs, some currency, some essences. I'll still carry some corrupting essences but I'm not gonna go out of my way to like farm essences. I'm just going boss and go. The maps are scour and go. I have not scoured every single map because I don't really care. I only care about cooldown mod. It's kind of bricks my build or like it makes it a little bit slower. So I, I scoured the cooldown mod and the aura effect. So I have my correct breakpoint on the attack speed and uh, my haste aura is giving me some attack speed. So I don't want to break my haste aura. Some of the maps are rare. Some of the maps are magic and the rest are just normal. Can you search for normal? Yeah, it's just basically scour and go strat, zero investment. I bought all of these maps in bulk for three to four chaos each. We can just say four if you wanna buy like all in big bulk. So our investment is 2,300 chaos, which is about 10 divines. Let's see if we can get 10 divines back and how fast. Red altar, no Zana mod. Scour and go. Flashbang. Let's see. First map. Phoenix map. Okay. Oh, synth map. Big gains. Nice. <laughs> Imagine being Oak, chilling in your camp. <laughs> and then this happens. What a nice day to be Oak. Chilling in my bandit camp. <laughs> okay. okay, there's a wall side area and some rituals. I don't think we care. Altar, map boss gains. Oh, oh, map boss gains. Defeat. Bro, what? The strategy works, guys. GG. Okay, maybe we carry around a movement speed flask for these. Um, it's okay, it's just hard to control. Ugh. Here we go. It's a 30k shun. Wait, that's 24c? I need flasks. Uh, I, I can't do this. There's a box here. That box was not enough to give me flat. <laughs> die. Die. No. I will get a gift before I die. See? Fucking told you. 
if I made a zoomy build, I want it to be like zoomy all the time. And technically, until you have the frenzy charges, you are not zooming. But you get the frenzy charges like instantly, and then they're up for 10 seconds, which is more than enough to take time to do whatever. But like I always hate it when like Flicker runs out of targets, and then you're like, you like stop, and you're like, okay, leaf slam, leaf slam, leaf slam. Okay, there's mob ups, <laughs> and then it gets started again. You know, like I hated that like feeling of like stopping when when you don't want to stop. This build is like super controllable. Like you stop anytime. Like you let your mouse go, you just stop, and you don't like flicker away like without your control. Like it's all you holding the mouse. And as soon as you stop, you stop. So I need to spam E. No, I don't need to spam anything. I'm holding right click right now. Just holding right click and moving my mouse, or holding E and holding my mouse. I'd have to sp imagine if you had to click every time. <laughs> Belly orb. GG noobs. Oh, grab the sex. Did you see that loot? Okay, that was that was a clutch, clutch sextant looting. Nice and open. Click the lever. I am so dead. I am so incredibly dead. Okay, I lived. And it's a gift! Yes! Easy. Okay, this is beast trial for sure. I'm so glad we ran these basilica maps, guys. Thank you. Why is everyone like the tornado shot so much? It's the most ugly MTX. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sounds of this amazing purple tornado shot. What, what did you ask? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, not improved offering. Sunken shingle. Oh my god, there is hot shingles in my area. <laughs> Boom. Embrace the cringe. <laughs> no the work rules. Lightning Wharf. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> the Apple <of> 4 horse. <laughs> Hello, human resources. <laughs> Jesus. The shots. D4 bad. Einhar memory of harvest beasts. Yo! That's four div! Big bank. Also, also this. Ah, I didn't corrupt the good one. Fuck. Uh oh, uh oh, that is a lot. Oh my senses. Uh oh, more, more essences. Okay, I'm liking the I'm liking the essences on this better color scheme. When she texts, I'm alone at home. <laughs> Fuck, I got stuck. I got stuck in traffic. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Bye. That's the length that we can last, right, chat? Some timing, 30 maps, boss rushing, clicking altars, and clicking good essences on the way. I already did the test. A little bit more clear, and we ended up at 36% average map clear time. It's probably faster than that, because I was kind of, not full clearing, but clearing a lot more, I think. And time. 30 maps. 15 minutes. 15 times 60. 923 seconds. 30.7 seconds per map. Next map. Cortex. Nice. Anonymous Sport Eos oh. is Vault Pass from Nexus.gg slash Empyrean. That's maybe a good time to mention that you can buy the Curex Vault Pass through my Nexus link. This of Kyrex Vault. Is the Kyrex Vault like the Pass. Crucible, divination right. cards pulled from stack decks are displayed above your head for all to witness with the Oracle helmet equipped. Look, I got an apothecary. Are they gonna get an apothecary? Oil. Okay, he got a house of mirrors. Just your pass Good one. The big .com slash <laughs> See, it's that Thank easy. You support. <laughs> Thank you for your support, guys. You can use exclamation mark Kirak. You can buy that through my link and it costs the same, but I get a percentage of that. If you want to support the stream and you're buying this Kirak's vault pass anyway, you can do that. Thank you. And finally, 
the final boss drops a Goose and an Elder Scarab. And with that, we are done with 576 maps. Not in two hours, that's just today's session. It took, uh, it took more. But we have, uh, we have times that we can add together and we can average the map clear time. I did two tests, two 30 map tests. One of them was clearing a bit more. That was 36 second average clear. And one of them was clearing a bit less, just basically one altar, one essence, and boss. That was a 31 second average, 30.7. So I think we can average like 34 second map clear for the maps. That includes loading screen and dumping. I did go into some offerings, a couple of, uh, of special offerings, which probably slowed that down a bit. But um, those tests included like dying two times to like rippy essences or, you know some mistakes let's count the loot this is what we got this 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 and this wow that is a lot of invitations <laughs> holy shit let's take out the maps that nobody cares about wow not many 15 again if you're watching this on youtube i will save you or my editor will save you from this part. You don't have to check all the pricing. I'll try to show like the important stuff, you know, the, the interesting stuff that we got in the end, like how many elder maps, conqueror maps, shaper maps, stuff like that. So I'll separate those, put those aside, uh, skip straight to results now. So maps, the good layouts I paid for four chaos. Half of the maps that we got back were good layouts, but the other half were bad. Bad layouts are 2C in big bulk, good layouts are 4. You can find them for 3.5 sometimes, you have to overpay maybe 4.5 sometimes, maybe 4 on average. So we got 420 maps back, times 3 is 1260 chaos. However, we spent a grand total of 576 times 4 chaos on this whole project, which is 2304 chaos. So we are starting from a 858 chaos negative before actually pricing and excellencing. I priced a couple of uh, like garbage items that I took out, like contracts and stuff. So whatever is left in here and here and here and here and most importantly in here is going to be excellence's uh, time. I'm going to do up to shrieking for now because this is how I've done the other ones, but I'm probably gonna sell them properly. So we'll POE stack this, add it into this, and then we excellence these three tabs, these four tabs. That is a lot of invitations. Oh my God. Four, 12, 16, 22. That's 24 div just in red incandescent invitations. Nice. Okay. Well, let's do the TFT bulk selling tool as usual for the essences. Let me warp zone so it remembers the upgrades. 100% ninja price. In this big bulk, you can even do more, but wow, we made 4,000 chaos in essences. Jesus. 17 divines in essences alone. All right. Plus 3995. So we're up 3,000 chaos. And now it's time for the good stuff. So as it turns out, Excellence does not cover Elder Maps, Shaper Maps, Conqueror Maps, and Tomes. I should have remembered the Tomes from last time, but whatever. It actually covers the Synth Maps. So that's going to be some spicy money that we need to manually add. This is two Divines worth of Sanctums, because it's a 1 to 6, I think, unless it changed in the last few days drastically. So we're taking this out. That's two Divines. That is plus 230, plus 230. Then Conqueror maps are 40C each, I believe. Let me check TFT for bulk, because we definitely farmed enough for bulk. Okay, Elder maps 16C each. Shaper 16C each. Conqueror 40, 45 maybe, it seems like. Okay, let's go with 45. So this is 30 Conqueror maps. So at 45C each, that's 1,350. Shaper maps, 592C. 
and elder maps are also 16c in bulk 640 chaos also excellence couldn't handle the memories either so we have to price these in this was 10c these were 1.4 divines each so 2.8 divines plus this was 4.1 divine 6.9 divines times t30 is 1587 chaos and so now we have reached the final stage which is excellencing the rest which excellence can actually handle let's do that good quad currency fragment and Final value, 15,409 chaos, plus that in pure profit. Wow, essences are already in here. Let's add that up. Jesus Christ, we made 23,000 chaos in a quad tab of maps. That is 100 divines. Whew. <laughs> That is pretty good. Let's look at these numbers. The most value was the red invitations by far, followed by the fiend. If we didn't get the the fiend, then you know, that's uh, that's minus ten divines. That's a pretty lucky drop. I mean, you you might get some lucky drops in uh, you know in quad tabs of maps. The memory is also another big one. It's another four divine drop. It's not in here. The gifts of the goddess is pretty good. Doing the special trials some silver coin but everything else is just consistent gains here nothing uh, nothing out of the ordinary other than the fiend essences is 17 divines of this is essences essences were um was 4000 chaos was the essence tab and you can get more out of this if you sell in bulk and if you do the harvest craft and flip them into the good ones and upgrade them to full and all that it's just like i upgraded to shrieking and price it uh, for these videos because that's how I've done it in all the other ones but if you spend more time and you look into how much a every essence costs and which ones people want to buy in big bulk you can do the harvest blue juice swap them into other type uh, crafts and then make more money out of them but we just I just 100% PO and ninja price them uh, in big bulk and then call it a day so let's do some uh, mathematics how long did it take to run them if you only boss rush then you won't get some of this loot so i did a mix of somewhat clearing around the boss do an essence click an altar kill the boss i did two tests which uh, i've explained earlier i arrived at a 36 map clear time on average including loading screens and dumping and then i did a faster one uh, that was a 31 second let's say it's 40 seconds per map because you do a trial sometimes and those take an extra minute and that add up the average i think 40 seconds is is very conservative for this build because you can actually do like 15 second clears like on mesa so 40 second map clear time including dumping and loading screens times 576 maps is 23,000. wow that is how many seconds it took to run all of this. I just want to <laughs> I just want to point out how that lines up. We made 1 chaos per second. <laughs> okay? Um that's 384 minutes, which is 6.4 hours. Let's divide this by this. It's 100 divines in 6 hours, right? So, 6.4 hours. That's 15.69 divines per hour. That's a pretty good strat, I would say. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a good video title. One chaos, farming one chaos per second. Boss rushing. Wow. 15 divines an hour though. Holy shit. Okay, what if we take out the fiend? Let's say the fiend was really lucky. We made 100 divines. How much is the fiend? is 14 divines. Let's take that out. Let's say you don't find the fiend and you farm 86 divines in 6.4 hours. That's 13.4 divines an hour. That is still pretty respectable. <laughs> Holy shit. Why not count time to sell stuff? Because we are always only counting the farming of the stuff. 
how I farm is I spend weeks farming and then I do a trading stream where I liquidate everything in a couple of hours. If you want to include trading time, then you can do those calculations for yourself. Even if it takes you like fucking four hours to sell everything some, for some fucking reason and you didn't find a fiend, that's 10.4. You're still making eight divines an hour. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, did you see there's a new...